Hello everybody, in this lesson we will look at creating uh, custom lists. Uh, why we need custom lists? When the out of the box lists are not uh, enough for us or when we need our own list with our custom columns, our custom views, our custom settings, this is the time when you have to create a custom list. Or if you are developing a custom application, for example a custom web part or a custom application page, where you want to store certain values in SharePoint, it is better to use a custom list. So to create a custom list, we have to, let's go back to our SharePoint site. So this is my SharePoint site, so let's go ahead and create a new custom list. So let's create a custom list for employees. So I'll go to all site content and click create and I will find an option in the lists and I will choose custom list so let me give it a name called employee and let's click create you will find out that in the custom list you have only one column called title so now it's time to create custom columns in my, inside it so for this uh, demo I will create a couple of columns for example uh, employee age and uh, employee address so first of all let me as say age and I will choose a single line of text and I will click OK then I will create another column called employee address and this time I will choose multiple lines of text multiple lines of text allows me to add multiple lines it has some additional values like uh, do you want some special type uh, the type of text which is plain text rich text so let me choose plain text and do you want to uh, require this column or not and let's click OK and now you can see though that I have this um, three columns there uh, another thing that I want to show you now is how we can create our own view so uh, first I will add a new column here I will name it department and I will select it as a choice and in the choices if I come how come here I will enter the departments so I will say HR finance and software IT so now I want to show it how you want to show this as a drop down as a review button or checkbox so I'll say a drop down default value is HR I'll click OK and now I will show you I'll add a couple of items now you can see that I have now five uh, employees in this list now it's time to go and create a new view so how can you do that is to right above um, the, the create column option you will find a modify view option or a create view option so I can click on the create view button on the ribbon and you will find that I have different options available I can create a standard calendar access data sheet can chart or custom view in SharePoint designer for this demo what I'm going to do is that I'm going to use an existing view so you can see that all item view is visible here so I will click on that it will automatically uh, ask me to it will automatically copy the settings of the default view but I have to say, say uh, group by Department. Now I'll make it the default view. Another thing that you can do is that you can set the audience for this view. Uh, you can set it for personal view or a public view. Plus, you can change the columns. So let's say I want to add, uh, for example, ID in the number two column because this will be the unique ID of the employee. Plus, I can sort. So I can say sort by, for example, uh, age and you want to show ascending or descending so I'll say the show the smaller one on top and again if I want to filter anything so I can do filter but the thing is that I want to do for this demo is to show you how to do group by so I will say group by and I will choose department and the next thing I will going to do is to click OK there are other things that you can do for example you can show totals you can also change the style 
you can show folders and you can sh say uh, show the folders uh, items inside the folders you can also set the item limit by default it's 30 or you want to change anything in the mobile view so let's click ok for now and you can see now that the default view is shown as the uh, group by department but you can see now that when I group by department all are showing up in the collapsed view but I want to expand it automatically when the view is at least changed to do that go back to the list ribbon click on modify view this time this time scroll down to the group section and select expanded in the default grouping and now click OK and this time you come back you will find all the groups are collapsed you can say collapsed and expand you can also do these settings from if you want to do it uh, if you don't want to use uh, the ribbon you can click on list settings and you will find the, the column section here so you can call, add columns for example you can create a new column or you can add from existing side columns or as well as the view section is also here so you can start from uh, you can create a new view here or you can change an existing view like all items so in this demo I'll show you how to create a custom column and how to use it uh, how to create a custom list add columns to it and then uh, create a new view and do group by hopefully hope if you have any feedback, feel free to contact me. Thank you.